here we have uh, all the history of the Frenicola. Did you see the stadium? Right? I really? think yes, but I don't know if it was a stadium then. Yeah, of course. What? Right there, it was without uh, the, the buildings around, ah. only, only uh, the field. It's kind of cool seeing the history of it all, huh? Especially now I've seen the pictures, how it was, it used to be. It's uh, very interesting. No stands, just the pitch, just a piece of grass. It's amazing. Hi, I'm uh, Nicholas Ioannou. Today we are here in the center of Como, I'm here with Daniele. Hi Daniel. everyone. I'm Daniel, I'm the president of the company that owns the funicular. We are going to take the funicular to uh, Brunate for an incredible panorama and point of view. Yeah, I've been a couple of times, you know, when family comes over, we always take a funicular to go up and look at the beautiful view. And I get bored of it, it brings calmness to you, so it's good to go up there. They came with me and then uh, I opened the this is my second year, my first year was here on loan, but now I'm officially a player of Como for the next, uh, now two years. Every year I want to do something new, something better, and hopefully uh, with Como we've got a new target which is to achieve the uh, Serie A in, uh, in the next years. Something good to look forward to. We have to wait, we have to wait seven minutes. That's okay. Okay. Well, uh, there is a plate where in which you can see that uh, the funicular was, uh, was built uh, and start the service 11-11 of 1894. Once before the funicula, Brunate was a very lonely village because there was only a very small road to reach. The funicula allowed the, the growth of the community of Brunate. After the funicular, a lot of villas of the richest men of Milano were built, and then the hotels and then all the tourism came later, due to the funicula. A hundred, one years and one day, and one day before. I was I was born on the 10th of the 11th, 95. So it's 101 years uh, difference. <laughs> you look younger than the funicular. <laughs> Here we are. Mm -hmm. the, the service ends up at midnight. What happens if you miss the last uh, funicular at, at 12? Uh, you can decide that to go down by foot. Get a hotel Now, Cesare. Bene, bene, grazie. From Brunate, you have the occasion to, to see the stadium in a yeah. perfect, perfect condition. To be honest, I'm a bit scared of heights. Are you? Yeah, a little bit. And I was just like looking down and just like get a bit of pressure on my chest. But no, no, the view helps. Uh, here, as you can see, it's very cared about. Uh, we, we love uh, to take care of our funicular. Yeah, the, the full view of it, so it's great. Last two two years now, a lot, a, a lot of memories. Could be interesting uh, to visit uh, the engine room. Yeah, it's yeah, brand okay. new. Yeah, cool. Just a little walk. I think the, the new engine is more fast than the old one. Eh? The movement of the, the funicular goes uh, three meters per second. In uh, 2026, uh, we have to replace uh, all the engine and then uh, we can reach uh, easily the five meters. So it will take uh, about uh, four minutes uh, instead of seven now. Yes, yeah, you can see it's all brand new. It's about uh, 1,200 meters long. About uh, 1926, uh, 25, uh, we replace uh, the old engine with uh, an electric one. We, not we, not, not me. Not, <laughs> obviously not me. You haven't gone up to Lighthouse yet? No, it'll be the first time that I'm going to visit there. Yeah, I'm excited. Something new for me in Como, in Granata. Finally, we have arrived at the top of the mountain. We will go to uh, the Volta Lighthouse to, to visit and see what's there. What are some times in your life that you've, uh, some challenges you faced? The first challenge I had in my whole career is, is leaving from a young age to, to go to a different country. You leave your mom and dad behind, you're all alone. That's, uh, I think, the most challenging thing was, was this. I did it because I love football. I wanted to become a professional footballer and uh, it paid off. 
How did you make it through that challenge? It's just the, the, the love I had for football as a young age because my father was a footballer as well. I always admired him and I wanted to become like him one day. Yeah, that just pushed me towards, towards my goal. I went through a lot of ups and downs, but I'm very happy I got through it all. Do you get to see your family much now? Not a lot, uh, as I'm very busy with Como in Italy and uh, with national team. So yeah, I just get to see him a few days in Christmas, a few days in the summer. You want to spend as much time as possible with your family, but uh, as a footballer, that's your career, that's what you need to follow. I'm sure when I retire one day, I'll, I'll spend us plenty of time with the family. Peaceful. You can see Como, you can see Milan, you can see Switzerland, you can see everything. <laughs> worth worth a walk. <laughs> Standing views. Maybe if you go through a lot, you know, there's a lot of sacrifice. You, you go through a lot of uh, down moments with injuries and everything. But yeah, it's, it's, it's part of your, the journey. It's been a, a great journey until now. I'm very happy with everything. Obviously, with Como. And, I want to achieve uh, and, and get them back to uh, where they've been before, to Syria. Hopefully, as a player, uh, it's never enough. Even if you play at the top level, you still want to achieve things. Whether it's trophies, whether it's moving to a different country, to a top team, a lot of stuff still to go. If you want to keep going and stay mo motivated, then you need to uh, keep putting goals. Once you, you reach the target that you, you wanted, then it was time to go for something else. Now as a footballer and when you finish football, there's still things to achieve. Always thinking about when what I will do when I when I retire and I don't I don't wanna be part of football, I don't think. I wanna try something different, something challenging, something new. Do some different kind of business with some friends that I'm very close to. I'm very excited about it. I can't, I can't talk about that yet. Obviously I'm focused about football now. Hopefully one day I can talk about it. Something uh, something new for me. I'll, I'll be up here again. <laughs> Thank you for following me through this journey. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you follow, like and subscribe. Contagomo. <laughs>